Lesson 11, Frequency Response Section 11.2, Measurement of Frequency Response Using this circuit, you can measure the frequency response of the RC series circuit. The voltage VZ across the RC series circuit is input to channel 1 of the ADALM2000. The voltage VD across the resistor RD is input to channel 2. The network analyzer of the ADALM2000 has a function to plot the voltage ratio VZ over VD on a decibel scale, and the phase angle psi of VZ relative to VD. From these plots of GVZ over VD and psi VZ relative to VD, you will find the frequency response of the RC series circuit, the magnitude of the absolute value of Z and the phase shift of psi Z. Let me explain how the plots are found. By assuming that the current I flows through this circuit, VZ and VD are expressed by these equations. This equation is the definition of the voltage ratio GVZ over VD on decibel scale. VZ and VD are substituted by the above two equations. The numerator is replaced by the absolute value of the impedance Z of RC series circuit, then GVZ over VD can be separated into two terms, as shown in the last equation. The second term is independent of frequency and works as a reference impedance. This is the magnitude plot GZ of the RC series circuit. The phase angle of VZ relative to VD is given by this equation. This is the phase angle psi Z of RC series circuit. You will find the frequency response GZ and psi Z of the RC series circuit from GVZ over VD and psi VZ relative to VD. Experiment 11.2.1 Pause the video, and follow the instructions. Measure the frequency response of RC series circuit. You can observe the frequency response using the network analyzer of the ADALM2000. This figure shows the wiring diagram of the experimental circuit. The input of channel 1 is VZ, and that of channel 2 is VD. This is a snapshot of Scopy. Pause the video and set the network analyzer, following the steps indicated by the circled numbers. Pause the video and continue setting up the network analyzer. The top plot is GVZ over VD. The horizontal axis represents frequency. The bottom plot is the phase angle psi Z. The horizontal axis is also frequency. You can read the values on the plots using the cursors. Click Cursors button. Then, two cursor lines and their corresponding buttons will appear on the plots. Move the cursor lines by dragging the buttons. The values of magnitude and phase at the crossing points with the cursor lines will be displayed. The values of these plots can be saved by using the export function. You can select a CSV file or a text file to save the data. This is an extract of the data in a CSV file. The second column from the left is the frequency in hertz. The third and fourth columns are the magnitude in decibels and the phase in degrees respectively. The answer to experiment 11.2.1 This equation expresses the voltage ratio GVZ over VD. RD was equal to 1000 ohms, thus, 20 times log base 10 of RD was equal to 60. These are the results of the experiment. The top plot shows the magnitude of Z over RD, and the bottom plot shows the phase angle psi Z. The red lines represent the measured values, and the blue lines represent the nominal values. 
The nominal values were calculated as follows. The resistance RD was equal to 1000 ohms. Therefore, GZ was calculated using this equation. It is a function of the frequency F. The phase angle psi Z was calculated using this equation. This equation is also a function of F. The measured data closely matched the nominal values. An exception was observed in the measured psi Z when the frequency exceeded 100 kHz. This discrepancy was likely caused by parasitic elements in the experimental circuit. Experiment 11.2.2 Pause the video, and follow the instructions. Measure the frequency response of the RL series circuit. The answer to experiment 11.2.2 These were the plots of GZ and Z. The measured values matched the nominal values well in the region F is smaller than 100 kHz. A peak in impedance was observed at F was approximately equal to 500 kHz. This was also caused by parasitic elements in the experimental circuit. Exercise 11.2.1 .1. This is your homework. Pause the video, and write the answers. Plot GZ and Psi Z. Experiment 11.2.3 Pause the video, and follow the instructions. Measure the frequency characteristics of VC over V. The answer to experiment 11.2.3 Pause the video, and check the answer. Exercise 11.2.2 This is your homework. Pause the video, and write the answers. Plot GZ and Psi Z. The author of this material is Takeshi Furuhashi, Professor Emeritus, Nagoya University. If you have any questions, send emails to this address.